Hello, everybody. Uh, first, let me start off by saying I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy through this extraordinary time. Uh, I, uh, as you know by now, the president has uh, signed into law what's called the CARES Act, which is this massive relief package uh, that um, that uh, should be coming towards everybody. Um, I, I wanted to do a few videos and unpack everything that's in that provision so you can get a sense of what's going on. Uh, I'm going to, so I'm going to do three videos, right? The first one, this one, I'm going to continue to want to talk about the $1,200 per person uh, deposits that some people can expect. Uh, then I'll do another video on the other provisions related to individual taxpayers. And then a third video we'll do on a couple provisions related to employers and see how all that rolls out. So let's just talk about the big one uh, that you probably hear more than anything, and that is uh, that is these uh, deposits that the IRS has been directed to make uh, for people, uh, for certain people, you know, people that meet certain income limitations. Uh, I've written something up, a uh, summary that I'm going to put on our website, and I thought I'd walk us through that. So let's 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 see what this is about. Um, every taxpayer who meets certain income limitations, uh, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, can expect to receive a deposit of $1,200. So a uh, married couple uh, filing a joint return can expect at least $2,400. Then if you're a parent of a dependent child, who is, uh, which means a child under, under the age of 17, um, you can expect another $500 in addition to the $2,400 per child. So for every child, it's $500. But there are income limitations to this. So our Congress decided they didn't want to hand out uh, relief to people who are making above a certain income limit. Um, and so let's walk through that really quickly. If you're a joint filer and your adjusted gross income is less than $150,000, you are going to get the full check, okay? If, on the other hand, you make anywhere between one hundred and fifty and one hundred and ninety-eight, dollars you can expect a partial deposit, a partial part of that $1,200 per person. And if you adjust your gross income is 109, above 198,000, then unfortunately you will not qualify for any of this deposit. Um, uh, the numbers, as you can see here, for single and head of household, those are the various income limitations for those people. So the question now becomes, well, how are they gonna decide? How are they gonna figure out who has adjust their gross income within these various limits? Well, the IRS, um, has been directed to first review the 2019 tax return of every taxpayer. And if your adjusted gross income is within these limits, then you can receive either a full or a partial deposit. The IRS, uh, the Congress also recognized that some people haven't filed their returns yet. And so anybody who's not filed a 2019 return yet, the IRS has been directed to go back to the 2018 return and look there to see if the taxpayer or uh, individuals qualify. Uh, so how are they gonna make, and so that's how they're gonna figure it out, okay? Uh, the, so how are they gonna make the deposit? Well, if you filed your return in the past and have included a bank account information on that filing, either for a refund or for a payment, then they're going to use that bank information to automatically direct the deposit. If on the other hand, the IRS does not know about your bank account information, they're gonna send you a check. I, I do think unfortunately it will take quite a bit before you get the check uh, in comparison to the automatic deposit, but, I, but, but they are gonna send you something. Okay, um, let me just keep going a little bit further. Uh, so, um, Granted, this uh, relief is coming in 2020, and so the IRS is going to look at your 2020 income next year when you file your return, and they're going to make another determination. They're first going to see if your income has dropped, okay? So they're going to use your 19 return, and they recognize that your 18 may, I mean, your 2020 may be lower, and for many people, it will be much lower, and so the deposit that they're going to make, which is based on the 19 return, may not be enough, or you may not even get a deposit. And the Congress realizes this. So they've said, look, uh, if when you file your 2020 return, of course, you won't do that till next April. But when you file your 2020 return, if your income has substantially dipped and below those limits that I just showed you, then you will get the credit then, or you will get the tax payment then. That's when you can receive it. You may not get it now, 
but you will get it in 2020. Um, if, on the other hand, you've been given the credit because your income was at 150,000, let's say your adjusted gross income was at 150, if you were given a check here in 2020 and your income spikes for whatever reason, it spikes in 2020, you're not going to be asked to repay that amount or refund that amount to the IRS. Um, one other little circumstance here, right, is when uh, what if uh, somebody is a dependent on the return in 2019? but turns into an, a, a filer, a single filer in 2020. Well, clearly they won't get a check in 2019 because they don't have a return filed. But in 2020, when they go to file a return and their income is within the limits that I showed above, then they will receive the credit then. So that's really how all this is going to unpack. If uh, anybody has any questions about this, please let me know and, uh, or write me an email and I'll certainly try to, try to answer any of it. Um, as I said before, uh, please stay safe and healthy. Okay, thanks.